This is Pex, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 18, The Queen's Eyes. Alright, so for those who are not getting the season pass, this is the final mission. And for those who are, it's just a regular mission. So, starting off, just opening the door. And we're going to be fighting a couple of enemies here. And uh, they're not, there's no change, any differences ever since the uh, tutorial chapter so i mean it's pretty much the same way just they have a higher defense than last time all right now that those two are taken care of we're gonna go up the stairs and then uh, we're gonna use our match lock to knock out this knight and then Finish him off with a finishing blow. Switching to our right kitty. I'm gonna open this gate. And then we're just proceeding to go down. And then we're going to open this gate. And then we're gonna use our Kekai to proceed. And I uh, forgot to mention. Uh, this is also a level 3 Amarita farming, uh, this mission, Queen's Eyes. Um, I'll let you know how many Amaritas you achieve uh, once the boss, Thousand Eyes, is defeated. So we're just going to go to the right, past uh, the knight right there, and then we're going to proceed down. And then onto our right, there is a shrine here we're going to use as a checkpoint and to re uh, store our Omeo. Then proceed going down. And then going through that hole. And then we're going to proceed down here. We're going to pass these two enemies right here. Alright, and then we're going to go all the way down. And uh, right here. In this laboratory, uh, first go to your dual sword, high stance, from the gate, Kekai, Carnage, and then uh, Lightning. There are two yokais in these containers. We're going to wake one up by hitting the container and have him pop out. And then uh, just dodge the attack and uh, attack him. I was uh, low on the stamina. And then you just repeat the same way with the next yokai. Alright, so now, uh, further on here, you're going to be, f you know, fighting Kelly was easy, but do you think you can fight three of them at once? So, we're going to go into that corner, switch to our hand cannon, uh, we're going to try, I was going to actually shoot him in the head, because shooting him in the head is a one-hit KO, as it was shown on the second Kelly, and then the third one, I missed, and I got hit by his freaking dagger. Uh, luckily, uh, I lived from that, used my elixir, dodged the second one, and then hit him one more, got his stamina down, and just finish him off with his step. And then the, uh, the third one had the key to opening the, the gate that is right beyond us, and I'm just going to collect all these uh, stones that all the Kellys have dropped, and then we're going to proceed up. And that's where the Thousand Eyes boss is. And again, just to be prepared, uh, go use Kekai, Carnage, and then cover your dual sword with Lightning. And uh, make sure you can also switch to High Stance as well. And then as soon as you skip the cutscene, Sloth, and Weakness, what he's doing, he's going to summon a bunch of shards. Just run around him, and then just go behind him, and just use Water Slash. He's going to use his staff to try to attack you. Uh, again, try to go behind him and use Water Slash. Then he's going to sit his ass down on the ground. Uh, dodge back, go forward, and then finish him off with the Water Slash. And if you have done this correctly, congratulations. You have defeated Thousand Eyes. So, letting you know about the Amarita you gain. Upon completing the mission, along with beating Thousand Eyes, you gain at least 1.5 to 2 million Amaritas. So... This is, again, a great uh, f uh, Amarita farming for it. So, 
All right, uh, ch uh, check your inventory on weapons and armor. If you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. Alright, and uh, there is a certain cutscene or funny cutscene that uh, is worth listening and watching. And now you see nothing more. <laughs> that is the funniest cutscene I've ever heard. That man was crying like a little baby. Oh, but I give props to the actor for it. Anyway, so now that you have completed the epilogue, uh, so you unlock New Game Plus and a new difficulty, Way of the Warrior, which is a little tougher. It's about like one to two hundred levels more than uh, where you are right now. And then you, when you go to the shrine, you also now unlock two spirits instead of one. So uh, the recommended spirits, I would say, is your main to be your bunny spirit. And then for your second would be the raccoon dog, so that you can have both low and high stance attack damage. But if you really want like something to do with like Amarina gaining, uh, I would recommend getting the Shaosui. And then another spirit that attracts uh, Amarita or senses Amarita, uh, I believe is one of the spirits from the side missions, but I haven't actually uh, gone through them uh, yet. Uh, and then, But I think there is one in the DLC, so if you want to get that, you know, for those who are not getting the season pass. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to the offering, sell all the weapons and armor, gain more Amarita and uh, uh, Elixir. And you have any stones in the inventory, uh, you should know how much you have and, again, best way to farm. And we're going to level up and we are going to increase our strength by 9. And then our skill, I'm supposed to be by 16, but unfortunately I didn't have enough points for that. So that's where the Queen's Eye mission helps out with the Amarita farming so that you can gain to at least skill level 31 and on the next video for those who are at the season pass the next mission we're going to is called yokai country and for those who are not thank you so much for watching hope this video has helped you out